Brought to you by... There is something about the idea of home invasion that is inherently creepier than most other horrors. The notion of our safe place becoming a prison of fear. Even when we travel, our rented cabin or hotel room becomes that safe place for a period of time. And imagining that space being tainted by the presence of uninvited guests invokes feelings that terrify us to our very core. After all, no one enjoys being at the mercy of a madman. <laughs> friends, welcome back to ETF. Today's pick was kind of a hard one to discuss. When two sisters go to an isolated cabin in the woods to film a passion project, family secrets start to get in the way, as do masked strangers filming a passion project of their own. It isn't long before our sisters and their friends realize that they're inside. The opening moments of this film were kept fairly simple and get the point across quite nicely, while at the same time setting us up for the horrors to come. This film as a whole gave a vibe that I would equate to a found footage version of The Strangers. It even utilizes similar strange masks and has one of the girls show up at the door in the middle of the night asking for something stupid. I had high hopes for this one, as it is a film similar to Urban Legend's Final Cut, being a film about filmmakers. I've always found that concept interesting, because I can relate to it. Introducing this element into the plot sort of structured it like a making of or behind the scenes documentary, even breaking the film into days to help pace out the events that unfold over the course of the production. Without establishing any setup, the film begins to cut away to static, almost security camera shots that are positioned throughout the house. We don't see any point where our characters set these cameras up, or have any reason for them previously being in this location. It isn't revealed until much later in the narrative what purpose they serve, so it sort of feels like a strange element throughout much of the story. The film also begins to splice in these random edits of random things, such as stock footage. The unique part was that these clips weren't used at random. They would cut to stock footage of a cheetah chasing down its prey during a scene where the killer is stalking the protagonist. Rather than just showing us the act, placing even more meaning to something that we have seen time and time again. These intercuts started to make me believe that the film I was watching was edited by the killers, which is pretty unique and interesting. However, it sort of tells you early on how the story is going to unfold. Though the idea that the killers are making a movie and our protagonists are the unwilling actors was a cool, almost meta approach to the home invasion format. The performances throughout the film aren't all that great. In fact, they are at times a bit over the top, and others are a bit overwhelming. The gore effects are more than cheap, but with the way it's shot, it looks pretty good for the most part. There are these strange moments throughout the film with the girl who is directing the film within a film, yes this sounds confusing I'm sure, where she seems to be talking to someone else holding the camera. We get a few of these moments throughout the narrative that slowly reveal the twisted nature of what is truly happening. A picture that slowly becomes clear as we reach the climax. Overall, I personally felt that the visual elements chosen for this film, the masks, some of the scenes, fell a little too close to The Strangers for me to really distance myself from that film. However, I did try to look at this one as its own thing. I do feel that this one tells a far more unique story that delves into some much deeper themes of family trauma. And though it was presented in a bit of a confusing format, I do think that by the end, they tie everything up pretty nicely in a way that I haven't really seen done before. They made some unique choices with this one, and definitely tried to 
experiment a bit with how it was presented to us. I'm giving their inside a B plus. If you've been struggling with the idea of checking this one out, I say give it a chance. It's definitely going to provide you with a nice blend of familiar elements and new concepts to keep you at the very least intrigued for its entire runtime. This episode of ETF is brought to you by NordVPN. With more than 10 years of experience, NordVPN is one of the world's largest VPN providers. Cybersecurity may seem very complex, but NordVPN makes it as easy as it gets. Cutting edge technologies shield your internet activity from hackers and malware, protect you on public Wi-Fi networks, and even block annoying ads. NordVPN protects your IP address and makes sure that no one else can see which websites you visit and what files you download. And until the end of April, if you sign up using the links down in the description, you can get a whopping 70% off a 3 year plan. Real internet privacy is just a click away with NordVPN. But that's all for today, friends. If you are enjoying the content so far and want to help us keep bringing new types of videos for you to enjoy, please consider supporting ETF on Patreon, where every pledge goes right back into the channel to help us with upgrading equipment, maintaining our software, and checking out new flicks to discuss here. If you want to see more videos like these, feel free to let us know down below or give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will catch you all next time. Thanks for watching.